All right, guys. So now we're going to focus on some initial things. Um, the first one is crowd scanning. So when we're scanning a crowd, there's a certain number of things we should look for, like light gradients, um, you know, proxemics, how far two individuals are from one another, um, identify anything that's out of place or sticks out to you in your mind, and be very observant and always alert. Um, so the number one thing we want to do is scan the envir environment with our eyes. We want to just kind of assess and analyze and look for things out of place. We, we want to identify the anomalies. Is there a present risk, threat, um, some sort of underlying reason or cause that might bring up chaos? Um, and then we want to gather information. What does our environment say about itself just by observing? Does it say, oh, that's the rocker kids over there, or oh, that's the popular crowd, or oh, something's definitely wrong here, right? So we would want to observe and just stay alert and, uh, and just be aware and um, not paranoid, but be able to assess and make certain decisions and assumptions about our own environment, whether or not we're safe. Okay? Alright guys, so the next thing we would want to do is speed up our threat thinking, our threat response, because if we're in a critical situation, thinking fast is going to be our friend, see? So we want to think fast and we want to make good decisions, not, not ones that aren't very ethical or not well planned. Um, so what we want to do is we want to, number one, assess the threat. And number two, we want to prioritize our information from most critical to least critical. And then number three, we want to consider the past experiences that we've had ourselves and how they played out. Um, and uh, consider our file folders from the past of things we know about things, like things we learned, such as like what a movie may have taught us or different things like that. But if it's not realistic not to apply to life, and if it is, then there was something to learn out of it, then, then to apply it. Okay, so we want to look at our file folders and our past experiences. And number four, most of all, we would want to stay calm. Okay, so... Alright guys, so now we're talking about, about making prompt decisions in critical moments of time. So we all have the ability to make decisions, but we have to make prompt, fast decision making. We have to be snap about it and our brain's got to be smart enough to take pictures, to analyze, to think for ourselves and for the group of people we are in. Alright, so we want to number one, weigh our options. Number two, we want to consider the consequences of whatever goes on and plays out. And number three, you want to trust your instincts. And number four, you want to be decisive and execute on some sort of outcome and, and decision that would be more or less life attaining. So something that you or the crowd could um, benefit from in an ethical, considerate way.